on Over the Rainbow, um, I think the whole three months of it building up with all of us girls, when we finally got to the final, it was almost like, are you sure this is really over or are we really coming back next week? And it was kind of like, you know, that pressure. And I remember me and Sophie just standing there and being in full support of one another and just thinking, well, this is it now. One of us has to do this. And it wasn't necessarily for me the thought of, oh, wow, you know, I'm going to win a competition. It was one of us is going to have a career out of this and be able to start life in the industry that I've always dreamed of doing. And I think that is what I was looking forward on. And I think the reason, because actually, I don't know about anyone else in previous competitions, but I didn't cry or let that kind of relief out because I was like, no, no, the work begins now. And this is an amazing opportunity. On the Sunday morning, obviously, um, a girl that got voted out would have to leave the house. And it was the most heartbreaking thing ever. And we knew at the beginning of the week that someone was going to have to go. But even when they did, it was awful. And we used to sort of chase the car down the road and, you know, wave them off. And and then after they'd gone, there was this strange emptiness. And then we'd sit and be interviewed again. And then the week would start and it would just start again without them. And it was a really strange process. And it was almost like we had to have a massive amount of emotion when they went and then get over it really really quickly to kind of recoup for the rest of the week. After the programme there was quite a break between me starting the rehearsals for the show and we started rehearsals in December and I won the competition in May um, so it gave me a chance to really settle down and obviously move myself to London being a northern girl I had to go through that process um, yeah and do all of that I had some singing lessons I went to arts educational in Chiswick and did some training with the second years um, there on the musical theatre um, BA Honours course and that was just amazing and such a good experience because I wanted to go to drama school originally so to get the opportunity to do that and then go straight into work was fab. The first day of rehearsals, um, regardless of whether you've been in the industry five minutes or five years, is always nerve-wracking for anyone. Um, so yeah, naturally I felt a little bit anxious, but I'm really, really excited. And I think it had been quite a while um, between the process, the end of the programme and starting the rehearsals. So I think I was really ready to sort of, you know, hands in and, and get going with the work. And the second I walked into the room, it was, I just knew that I was going to be completely happy with these people because everyone was so friendly and warm and everyone was in the same boat and we were all nervous and excited and starting this new adventure together. And yeah, it was brilliant and I loved meeting everybody and I'm not going to be anything other than myself. So I wasn't worried about people, you know, judging me for having done the reality TV programme because... I've always wanted to be in this industry regardless of how you know I, I got there. Working with a dog is a completely different skill in itself. I mean, you know, you've got the dancing, the singing, the acting, and all the performance and stagecraft. That's fine. And then someone hands you a dog and you go, oh, okay. Um, but I've had so much fun. And I remember um, if there was like breaks in the rehearsal and everyone would be like, oh, we're gonna go and grab lunch. I was like, dog rehearsal um, and but it was great and I formed such a bond with all four of them and it's so funny to think now of how I know the dogs inside out I don't have to think like oh this one likes to be picked up in this area or this one you can't lift like this because it, it doesn't feel comfortable it was really really magical recording the cast album and to be a part of an original London cast and be on a cast album is amazing so you know being in the studio um, was great it was really funny actually because um because of all our schedules sometimes I'd be in there on my own but I'd be recording my parts to an ensemble track so I'd have like the other guys in my ear and I'd be going da -da 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 -da. oh yeah I do. and sort of like waiting for them so it was so weird because they weren't there but they had this massive orchestra in my ear and these other voices and then just me sort of like popping in my line every now and again my dream roles obviously anything in the industry it would be a gift to work isn't it but um if you could could pick i'd love to play natalie in next to normal if it ever came to london <laughs> um and mary poppins maybe a few years i need to wait for that one liza doolittle in my fair lady that would be a lovely lovely role um yeah those three are my my top i'd love to do something in in the heights but it's not on anymore and i'm not spanish so